For decades, political experts say young voter turnout has been low. However, this year the Gen Z generation is mobilizing and getting involved in politics in ways we've never seen. 10 on your side, Madison Glassman explains how. Yeah, last year, Generation Z became the largest generation. They're making sure their presence is being felt in their quest to shape our country's future. These are the new kids on the block, Generation Z. Gen Z in particular is, has a lot at stake in this election. The issues that matter most to them? I would say definitely COVID. Acknowledging that climate change is real. The Black Lives Matter movement and um, police reform. Healthcare needs to be improved as well as being provided to many Americans. This is Achi Sweat, a senior at ODU. With a global pandemic, civic unrest, and a slew of natural disasters in the backdrop, She's going to head to the polls for the very first time. Oh my gosh, I finally can have a voice because before I was only, I feel like I was on the sideline watching. Watching, waiting, but ready to answer the call to civic duty. That's what Zion, Miranda, and Kaylee are doing as they anxiously wait to turn 18. Even if I can't vote, you know, I'm encouraging my friends who can vote and are going to be 18 before the election to register. They're learning all about political activism in their social studies class at Kempsville High School. But the virtual classroom isn't the only place these young adults become informed. Social media is the go-to place for information, and one app is quickly becoming more and more popular. TikTok has a big influence on our generation. I mean, you'll see a TikTok and it has 3 million likes, and you're thinking that's reached so many people. TikTok is a, a wealth of um, fun, but also a wealth of, like, sharing. TikTok was used to kind of affect the turnout at a, a Trump rally. Behind all the... I didn't do anything to okay, you. Okay, let me be clear. Our real conversation and calls to action happening. They're also using it as a tool of activism. And it's, it's led to, you know, these mass uh, protests on the streets. They're able to organize through social media. Reaching millions with their message, hoping to transform the world. I think Gen Z is the change that's, that we all need. And like you heard those students mention, social media is extremely influential. NBC News reports Snapchat has helped 1 million users register to vote. And that's significant because you'll mostly find Gen Z and younger millennials on that app. Lex.